Big ideas, self-belief, and a dogged work ethic are the hallmarks of every entrepreneur in this room and the world over. But some are driven further still to go the extra, extra mile and share the rewards of their labors with the wider community. And for them, we have the annual special award, previously received by leaders such as Father Peter McVerry, Anna Mae McHugh, and the late Peter Sutherland. Here to tell us about this year's deserving recipient, please welcome EY's Kevin McLaughlin. For the last 16 years, in addition to recognizing our finalists, we've given special recognition to individuals who've made a significant contribution to business or society in general. I'm delighted to acknowledge many of our former special award winners who are in the room with us tonight to celebrate our 21st year. Too often, we wait until one's life's work is complete instead of recognizing something special as it's happening. The challenges we all face in building a better working world demand bold ambition and radical innovation. Tonight, we celebrate the work of a true pioneer, a successful innovator, a generous genius, and an incredible entrepreneur. If he were pitching himself to a team of dragons, they'd all say, I'm in. Where to next? The innovator's mindset. While still at college, software engineer Sean O'Sullivan invented the precursor to Google Maps, the ubiquitous technology that has become integral to our lives. For the boy who grew up with nothing in upstate New York, this stroke of genius has given him the freedom to follow his own path ever since. I think Sean is going through the world with a very curious nature. He seems curious about everything. And some people in business are good at seeing around corners. Sean seems to have this ability of understanding what it is that people will want in five or 10 years from now. A familiar face from Dragon's Den, Sean invested early and shrewdly in tech stars like Netflix and Guitar Hero. With SOSV, he has built a $300 million investment fund for innovative startups that will transform our world. I think the thing about Sean is he doesn't just see the current day massive problems we're dealing with. He very much has perspective and an understanding of the problems that are coming at us down the track. He backs really bright young minds who can go out and impact the way we live on this planet. Whether it's food, whether it's energy, whether it's water, whether it's education, it could be early diagnostics in cancer or it could be regenerative medicine. He's going to change the world. Sean is a powerful advocate for a range of humanitarian endeavours. From charity work in post-war Iraq, where he met his journalist wife, Tish, to worldwide tech education movements, like the Khan Academy or the free programming club for kids, the Coder Dojo Foundation. Sean is a titan of Silicon Valley. When you get him into a boardroom and he gets going, he adds incredible value to whatever he puts his mind to. He's a true philanthropist. He supported us for a number of years. And I think finding someone who's both happy to put their money where their mouth is and also provide that assistance is quite unique. For 10 years, Sean and his family lived in Cork. And when Ireland was at its lowest ebb economically, he answered the government's call for assistance, chairing its forum on enterprise culture, creating a blueprint that's a mind map of his kind of innovation. I believe what motivated Sean O'Sullivan was first of all a love of country, but also his interest in seeing people, uh, you know, follow their dreams, get involved in companies, follow their ideas and, uh, and put them to work. He's a businessman, he's got a focus. He's got an intensity, if you like, of interest in seeing the thing happen. That's the kind of person that he is. So we owe him a great debt. SOSV is headquartered in Cork, but its ambition, like Sean's, is worldwide. Soft-spoken, understated, very much a global citizen, but at his core, he's still very Irish. He's very proud of Ireland. He has a huge affinity with Ireland. I also think that in the future, that relationship that he has with Ireland is potentially hugely valuable to this country. And while he might be a global citizen, we should sort of hold on to him for as long as we can and in as many ways as we can. Please join me in welcoming on stage this year's EY Entrepreneur of the Year Special Award winner, Sean O'Sullivan.
this thing is, this thing is heavy. Um, so there's, a, there's this great quote uh, from Mahatma Gandhi about change and how difficult it is. Um, at first, they ignore you, and then they ridicule you, and then they attack you, and then you win. And that's if it goes well. Most of the time, as entrepreneurs, we know it doesn't go that well. You know, why, why are we compelled to go uh, create new, new companies? I think it's because we're fundamentally unsatisfied with the status quo. So as entrepreneurs, we, we, we face impossible problems. We face insurmountable obstacles every day. We must go into the darkness and carry a torch of hope and faith and, and uh, knowledge and bring this forward to bring light into the world. When you do courageous things that have never been done before, you will often find that you fail more than you succeed. But as everyone in this room knows, we have to try anyway. We can and we must tackle difficult problems, the most difficult problems. We can cure diseases. We can extend and improve the possibilities and the scope of what it means to be human. And because we can, we must. Together, we shall overcome. Thank you.